you can do about it unless you go as two supports, which is kind of a big commitment. If you guys go as one, it's hard to not harass an off laner with, I mean, Iron Talent itself gives pretty okay stats. <laughs> oh, boom bell! Oh, boom bell! Oh! We found mid one. Needs two hits in here. Needs the trees. Get the trees out. The damage up is not heavy. Decrep from Pugna saves him for now. Ooh. Boom Bell was looking for the courier snipe for that invis, and honestly, he didn't deal. He had it, but the stun, the Malefic is there. Three, four, three. Swings himself back out from the jungle. Fanatic. Really good. Does he have Banshee runes? I mean, this is, this is about to be quick up. Oh, mid lane, are they gonna go in here on mid one? He drops that blast, but it looks like he's dead with Sunray. Damage through the crap should be enough here for Micro to clear it up and yeah, with a wave of terror. I mean, Malone and, uh, as we saw in the last game, he has, he has some amazing comeback abilities as a player, like, uh, in the mid game. He's gonna take that, you know, a harsh training phase, a boom bell. Boom bell. Yeah, he did realize that was coming in from the east, and this high ground ward has been perfect for Fnatic, but Mushi fade boots away from the tree, and he's gonna get his Once again, we're looking at this trust lineup. They've got, they've got one stun. Spinova kind of counts, but not really. It's all about the Witch Doctor. He's going in again on mid one. Yeah, he's been prepped for trying to save him, but the Sprout is there. This Sunray, doing so much work for jabs. I'll tear you Radiance middle limb. tower is under attack. It's fanatic and trust. They've got these pre-10 minute mechs. It's gonna be arriving about eight and a half minutes for either of these guys. But uh, wrapping in, looking for the kill over on 4-3. You know, the TP from Bell. Just to secure it. 3 3 doesn't even throw out his midnight bolts to break the trees. He will do so now, but it's too late. He's already done for. It'll allow for Ohio to keep himself back to safety though. It's basically a necessity mech where they want to... Um, Get rid of all these towers if possible, and without the next day, he won't stand a chance against him. Oh, jabs! Oh, jabs! That's not where you want to be. They'll try and chase him down more, actually, but he's done with the fame out. Look at that damage jab with the netherboard. The black hole! Well, the kills is caught just on the what? very edge, but he cancels it out. The swap is there from net. Trapping up the kills with decrypt blast, it looks like he's dead to right. So if they finish him off, and Mushi, where the hell were you? Killing off the Viper? Over towards the radiant are fortified. Or for zero sweep. The only reason that he, they can push right now is because Fnatic are lighting them because there's no reason to make Dyer's use of the Aegis. Has fallen. Look at this. Fnatic. Oh, Ohio. He just turns and rolls. He's fame out. He's got death wars. And Sneak Moon's not going to pay off with the Sunray bouncing between him as a nature round. But 343 three, trapped underneath the supernova. He's got a black hole, but he has to throw it soon. He's not going to good target. He chooses Micro. And then kills off the egg. They actually bring it down. The kills are standing his ground with the agents up. He's going to take out another one for Mushi. He'll chase him down. Urn is out. This is so far a three for two, but mid one. He's not very tanky. He's crowded up the kills. He's got the damage output, and they get them. Fnatic <laughs> come out the losers while trust the victors in that team fight. A weird team fight, to be honest. I, I don't recall exact se the exact sequence of events. It was just like a minute of bait after minute of bait, but Boom Bell is the one to swap back into death and Lakel's. Have jabs near him. Less mobile carries. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Radiant's top tower is under attack. the high ground into the tier 3. 3-4-3 really oh. does not have the black hole. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Right, when Pretty do you use it? Looks like he might be dead here anyway. With a couple of hits down, he pops the mech, the roar is down, the Kelvin's trapped, and the supernova. Well placed over the back end, and the more down will take out the egg, but Ohio has already Radiant's dropped, and the Spectre haunts him. But doesn't have a damage to take anyone out. The Beast Hunter buys back to the region in the fight, but the Kells still has the Aegis. Just the more back to the gust. Yeah, from long range from mid one there, Radiant's somehow grab it for kills, but attack. it's not going to be good enough. Defend that high well. ground. Keep you safe. Have they pushed out too far? I bro. Uh, I bro. Radiant's top bro. Top. He's got no mana left. I mean, I also have to be careful at this point. Mushi to swap back from net again, saving his teammate. But net in trouble. The cast will not bounce. The mid one, he's draining out my pro, sucking the life out of him. And the kills. He still holds his Aegis. Rust. I'm too afraid of this, just knowing when they can turn and fly. No Radiance ult. middle tower Mid is under attack. Mid one. Lens. Point booster Radiant into Agonim Staff to look like that's where he's heading. Ohio has blink. 
going to the Necro 3, prioritizing his mobility a little bit more. Mushi's getting caught up on the top lane, so the Radiance and the Dagger Radiance away. Coconut stuns him down, he's going to be out, he's going to haunt himself away. There he's gone. Dead. So, a scary target enemy. You're also available to haunt across Appy, but there's global power. This is a roast pit fanatic, Ohio. He's kind of stuck in here. Oh, I think he's in a little bit of trouble. They just throw the bunny strike onto the roast egg. Fanatic net, they pull him out and they'll give up the ventral spirit instead. Think of that viper strike has gone onto the beast path instead of the, instead of the roast gun. They might be able to kill him off, actually. In the last game as well, he saved that squash oh, yeah. once a time. He was very, very good. Didn't have the ward. Oh man. That's so annoying as a witch doctor. Can't do the restoration, Boom Bell. Ether Lens, Ether Lens, and Aghanim Scepter. Look at that Pogna go. Ab busting range and damage. Mushy. Output. Oh, Mushy, 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 Mushy. He's got the horn. Be okay here. As long as he doesn't get gusted and trapped and back himself up far enough away. The Enigma is waiting for his plant to shine. There we go. The horn out. The black hole can come through. Can't be put held only though. Not a massive target, but Zipnob dropping, they're gonna get 3-4-3, three, three, and Mushi, he's struggling to find a target to be damaged to, they'll get the Viper and the Witch Doctor in the hands up against Lakel, chasing him out, and Lakel cannot stand and fight! Drow Range is on the run. Where do you hide? How do you hide? From Spectre. The under. Like you said, Mushi is scary. Mushi is super, super. Thoughts don't have a massive amount of gold, but... Enigma is going to be heading to what? A, what do you, what do you reckon? Enigma goes for a BKB of its own. Go, I think. Plan for three, four, three. Oh god, that was Mikkel who died. I mean, uh, Black Hole's like Mikkel. So high ground they go. Tier 3 dropping in low. Netherwall drops. Micro pops back in. They drain him out. Fuck oh him down. Micro. Demolished. Mushi even found the witch doctor on the back end, it's chasing down Boom Bell, I think it's game over. I, I, I think it might just be it. Radiant Spectre to game winning moves here. Mushi goes from the fuse of the Yash as quickly as that. That's not long for this world, the supernova. Still up and ready, level 2 is there for jabs. Position, he needs a time to use it as jabs. Look at his drain, the life. Radiant's middle there. That is so annoying. It's so annoying and so deadly at this uh, this timing line. Yeah, it looks like Nature's Prophet did uh, choose to talk about a hex. They're kind of tired of not being able to kill people. Oh, my pro. Yeah, moving in from the side mid one. He's slowed down by the fire spirit, but net. Yeah, ready. Swap him out. Oh. Boom bell. Oh. Are you sure? He TP's in. He just roared up and demolished. He's into existence. Having a little luck in back with Lakel's love. The TP is there. 3 4 3. There's no black hole. He's fine stuff. He's gonna have to breathe some stuff to try and keep him alive through this. But they've got the angel from mid one. Got back into life. And mid one. Up on the high ground. They've got the positional advantage. Frank back onto Lakel. The knife throw. The Viper runs forward. But it's the Mushi. The Smegs is here. He joins the fight. And 3 4 3. Blinks forward. He's got a black hole. But he's just holding on to it. He doesn't need to use it. Trust they're all dead. One remaining hero jabs back in the fountain, but GG is called. Wait, From this time I think I saw this coming. Again, skirmishes, it's not even close. I think Fnatic have an edge in terms of like, you know, playing it.